a conversation between President Biden, Mayor John Southers, and Senator Michael Bennett. This is it right here. Three met on the tarmac yesterday and in the president's limo after Air Force One landed at Peterson Space Force Base. According to Mayor Southers, the three talked about the future of Space Command here in Colorado Springs. 11 News reporter Jared Dean sat down with Mayor Southers to learn more about the conversation with the president. He joins us live from the Overlook on the north side of the city. Jared, the mayor says he feels optimistic that that conversation about that conversation about Space Command. Yeah, Adam and Lindsay, the mayor told me today that he is, quote, confident that Space Command will remain here in Colorado Springs. In just a short time with President Joe Biden, Mayor John Southers tells me one of the things discussed, the future of Space Command in Southern Colorado. As a result of that conversation, I was very optimistic that uh, a Space Command will remain in Colorado Springs. Southers also tells me that he talked about the decision to move Space Command to Huntsville, Alabama in 2021 under the Trump administration. And he said that that was very much under review and that they were very much focused on national defense, specifically uh, when uh, Space Command could most quickly be at full operational capability. Senator Michael Bennett tweeted that he had a moment to emphasize the importance of keeping Space Command in Colorado during the conversation. We reached out to his office for further comment, but he was unavailable. Mayor Southers says he believes we can expect a more official announcement regarding the future of Space Force in the coming months. The president did not mention keeping Space Command here in Colorado Springs during his speech to the Air Force cadets, but he did highlight the hard work being done by both the Air Force and Space Force overseas, especially in Ukraine, calling it, quote, the backbone of the operation. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. All right, Jared, thanks so much.